everybody. Welcome to this short tutorial about using Accordance Bible software. Um, this is just a kind of introduction and show you the lay of the land and some of the reasons why I use Accordance. We'll also talk a little bit about uh, one feature in each video. The feature that we're going to focus on today is the text browser or text comparison feature, which I get excited about and use a lot. So let's start with the real basics. What is Accordance? Accordance is a Bible software that is meant to help you study the biblical text with simplicity, elegance, and efficiency. And um, it is a high resource text. So there's a lot of different um, resources, documents, um, lexicons, things that are going to supplement and allow you to get the most out of your study of the Bible. Um, and it's really designed to study primary text. So studying the New Testament, studying the Old Testament, or something like the Dead Sea Scrolls, it's not um, designed really to primarily just be a library, even though later on uh, in another video we'll talk about all the interesting things that they sell through Accordance. Um, I've bought some commentaries. I've bought a couple of secondary resources. But by and large, the main use of Accordance is rigorous, in-depth study of the primary text using the resources they've built into this. That's going to be the primary focus of how people use Accordance on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to just show you around a little bit, and in later videos I'll give you a more in-depth look at the different components. But this is kind of the main display with um, the translations and text that you want. So I have teed up here the Septuagint uh, and New Testament Greek Bible. Uh, right now we're in 1 Timothy. I have here the NRSV, just as a translation of choice that I use a lot, and the NET translation. I feel like these are pretty uh, good translations to work with for my academic study, so I have these close at hand. Uh, on the right here, I have a couple of things uh, queued up. One is uh, ancient usage of a specific term, so we're going to just look really quickly at the term heterodidaskalane right here, which you know is translated in the NRSV as different doctrine. It's translated in 1 Timothy 1.3 as false teachings, uh, excuse me, in the net. Um, and over here, what is this? You have these texts. Uh, I'm telling Accordance, I want to look at some ancient texts. Show me in, in kind of ancient Greek texts that are in my collection of my databases where this word appears, and they put it in red. We'll talk about this on another occasion, but this is a really important usage of Accordance to just bring up very quickly the places where... Um, the this word uh, is in other uh, texts, no matter what form it's in. Uh, it's looking for its lexical form. Uh, it's looking for all the forms t tied to that lexical form. So in that sense, it's tagged. They use the language of tagged, meaning they, they've hunted in each uh, text for th this uh, origin word. And then down here I have Greek dictionaries. This is one of the most important uses of accordance, is being able to look at various lexicons, which is a Greek dictionary, and see what the, the meaning is for this word according to this dictionary. So we, I, I have several dictionaries. I'll explain packages later on, but I have BDAG, which is the standard, and I have some other ones here. And I, I consult them, and I want to utilize them. I often just get them for a quick meaning, and then I just try to do rigorous study through other features, such as this one here. But what I want to focus on right now is the text browser feature. So uh, if I'm looking at you know this side, there's massive amounts of text. If I just want to look at, okay, how do, how do the spectrum of English translation try to cover this word, um, uh, heterodidaskalane? Um, and I can go over here and I can, you know, queue up 1.3 in a bunch of different translations. For example, the NRSV, the NET, the NIV, the NASB, the RSV, the NLT, the Message. I have more I could do, but these are the ones I just get my quick look at. Um, and so I can just see, okay, different doctrine, false teachings, false doctrines, strange doctrines, different doctrines, contrary to truth, and then Eugene Peterson's just to get a little something different. I can't tell you how helpful this is to just kind of understand the, the wrestling that translators go through and trying to figure out, how do I represent this? It's giving me a sense of the academic consensus of range of this word. If all the academic translations are pretty much the same, English translations, then I feel like, okay, we have a really good grasp on what this word means, and, you know, it's pretty cut and dry. But if there's there's some difference here, um, that's notable, and that tells me something. So this is a really valuable 
resource here, this translation comparison. You can set it up whatever way you want. I'll show you how to do that on another occasion, but you can set it up and tell it, okay, I want these translations to show up. I want it in these orders. You can have other languages. You can have Latin. You can have Spanish. You can have German. Uh, you can do whatever you want in here so that you can have uh, make the most of this text browser where it instead of looking at a big chunk of text of 10 verses, it's looking across the spectrum of translations at just one verse. And you can choose whatever verse you want. If I want to choose something from verse 8, I can choose from verse 8. If I want to choose 18 or 14, I can have it jump around. I can't tell you how handy this is when I'm doing um, Bible study, when I'm doing lecture prep. I preach uh, pretty often, so when I preach, if I'm writing an academic article, um, I use this feature every single day. And it saves me tons of time thinking about opening up a whole bunch of Bibles. I don't have to do that. I don't have to open up a whole bunch of books on my desk. It's right here. I actually use three screens so that I can type on one screen, have this on, up on one screen, and maybe a different software program like Logos up on another. So I can't tell you how handy it is to have these right there ready to go. So this is a real basic orientation, but gives you a sense of how I use Accordance. I'll go into in other videos more features but for now I wanted to focus on the text browser which really helps you to see a cross spectrum uh, of, uh, of different translations on a particular verse.